In this video, we'll quickly show you how to install SyncToy on your machine. And the only reason it's a little more difficult is that you have to install an old version of the Microsoft Runtime Package called .NET. So, let's go to the Imaging Tips website, and I have it up here. And let's see, there it is. Right. ImagingTips.com is the path. We'll click on Other Tips right here. And then we'll click on Videos. And we'll look at the one for Sync Toy. And the key, you may have gotten to this video by being here already, is to go down right here where it has these links. So the first thing you want to do is download the old runtime package. Just click on it and I'm using Chrome here so it started downloading automatically you see it down here I guess by default it's going to go into the downloads folder and uh, that's all there is to it if I double click on it it will probably start installing let's see what happens now I already have SyncToy on this machine so we don't really want to install it We'll see. Hello. It says it's open yet. Yeah. Maybe it noticed it was already installed and didn't do it because of that. That's my guess. Yeah, see, nothing happened. All right. So the next step, after you install that, then you would download the package itself, which is right here. And same thing happens. It starts downloading. And it's all done. And if we click on that, it would start the setup process. And let's see what happens with this one. Since it's opening it, and it's getting ready to start it. Now it knows that it's already installed. It gives me a choice of repair or move. Well, I'm going to cancel this whole thing. But anyway, that's it. So, when you install it, you're going to have to answer a few questions. First one is probably about, do you want to participate in their feedback? And, uh, we usually say no, I think that's the default. Maybe if they knew how many people were still using it, they continue supporting it. Who knows? Um, it's also going to give you a couple warnings about how certain things may not work, but that really only applies if you had an old version or upgrading. There were a couple cases where you could get into trouble, but I haven't seen any real problem at all. You know, I've been using it for over 10 years. I love this program. So that's it. That's basically all there is to installing SyncToy. And once you have it, you'll find it, you know, installed. And if it's not, you just start typing SyncToy into the search box here. How to spell it? SyncToy. There it is. Um, you can also type it into Cortana. And once you found it, you just click on it. And uh, away you go. Hello. There it is. Okay, here's the thing about customer experience. Uh, and then it comes up and new folder pair and so on. So we have another video that shows you how to use it. We'll go on to that one.